Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at some 5.1 surround sound alternative export formats. Now I have two other tutorials on working with surround sound and they dealt with using Dolby um, as the export format. And after I created those, Adobe decided to not license Dolby anymore. So when you're looking for an export format that includes Dolby uh, surround sound, you won't find it anymore. You now need to purchase that separately. Um, so instead I thought, why don't I show you all the different formats that actually do support 5.1 that you don't have to pay for. These are all built into Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go have a look. So I've got a timeline created here. That's 5.1. And you can tell because down here, the master is showing as 5.1. And like I said, I've got a full tutorial showing you how to create these. I've brought in a six channel file that's playing here. You can see that in each one. And then I've also created panning automation in 5.1. And I've created this um, illustration here. This, this is not part of, of Premiere Pro. I just thought this was easier to see than that over there, especially when you export this out, you don't have the benefit of seeing this panning information. So we have a 5.1 file. We have the correct master 5.1. We have the correct tracks and there's uh, any number of tracks in here that you could use. They don't have to be 5.1. They could be mono files that you're panning around in the surround sound environment. Now you're ready to export this out and Dolby isn't there anymore. But there's lots of formats. Make sure we've got our timeline selected and do our regular export media, control M on Windows, command M on Mac and it brings up our export dialog box. And I'll go through all of these settings to show you which ones are supported. So audio alone, AAC, um, you can export this audio out. And if you go down to the bottom here, let me just make this a little bit bigger. If we look at channels, you can see there's 5.1. This will export out one file with all six channels in it as AAC audio. Let's keep going, AIF, F. I'm, I'm gonna bypass the ones that aren't important. Uh, these are broadcast formats, and a lot of times you'll see multiple channels in broadcast formats, but you won't see 5.1. So broadcast folks aren't using that. A AVI is a typical Windows video format. Um, you could choose 5.1 here and make an AVI, that works. Uh, same with uncompressed. Uh, BMP is a, an image format that doesn't work. DNX um, is also another one that you can set multiple channels. Honestly, I haven't tried this six channels, but you'd end up with six channels of audio. Um, so, but this is not the option that I would use. DPX image format, image format, oh, H.264. This is a very popular format. It's what you're viewing right now on uh, YouTube. The codec is AAC and sure enough, 5.1. So we can export out as one of the most popular formats out there, H.264, no Dolby Digital, and here we've got 5.1. You can't play 5.1 on YouTube. But if you exported this out and, and put it in your, your PlayStation or Xbox or whatever you use in your home theater and you have real surround sound speakers, then you'll be able to uh, play this back and hear it. And just to address the other question that I get a lot, hey, how do I listen to 5.1 on my computer, on my laptop? You can't unless you add hardware. You need extra hardware to go out from here to a receiver or to multiple speakers. Um, I have an interface that I use on my, my main system over there that has eight outputs and I could map eight of those, uh, six of those outputs to the right speakers. So you can't do that just with a general uh, computer. You have to be connecting to hardware. And even if you could go out of your computer, um, it's not gonna power those speakers. So you need to go to something that's powering six separate speakers. So let's keep going, H.264. Um, H.264 Blu-ray, you would think you can do it, but look at that, we have no options here. So that is a different format. HEVC, so this is H.265 AAC, and sure enough, we can do 5.1 with 
that one. These are image formats. There's an audio format, MPEG-2, which is common on uh, DVDs, and you can see we can't. So there's no 5.1 in that format. MPEG-2 Blu-ray, you'd think, but no, it's stereo only. MPEG-2 DVD, you'd think, but it's only stereo. MPEG-4, and this is 5.1. So that is another option. MXF, again, this is another broadcast format, and you won't see 5.1, although you'll see multiple channels. Again, these broadcast formats would be the last ones that I would choose. Not only are, are, are they confusing in their audio output, they're made for broadcast, you might not even be able to play back a lot of these formats, like an MXF, and you try to play it in some kind of media player, it probably wouldn't play back. They're not meant for local playback on computers. They're meant for broadcast servers, playback live. OpenEXR, that's an image format. P2, this is Panasonic cameras. Sure, you can get eight channels, but again, this won't be a format you'd play back. PNG is an image format. Ooh, QuickTime. For anyone using uh, Premiere Pro, the latest version of CC, hey, you'll notice I'm on Windows and I've got ProRes export. We've always been able to import ProRes, but to actually encode or export is a new feature in the latest version of Premiere Pro. And any of these formats, um, including the GoPro format, or I'm just gonna choose the ProRes format. And we'll go down to our channels here. And sure enough, there's 5.1. QuickTime does have three different ways to encode the channels. And I cover this in my other uh, video very well. It's, it's because of the six channels, it's, there's not a universal format for which channel goes to which speaker. Um, so you can change those inside there, pick the 5.1, and that's the way you're encoding those out. So it does work for the QuickTime formats. That's an image format, that's an image format. Waveform audio, we could also do 5.1 on that one too. WebM, and again, it's for an um, online format. But the funny thing is, here's Dolby 5.1. Wait a minute, 5.1 in WebM, and WebM is not a good format to go out to for high quality, which is kind of odd. So why do they have the Dolby on them? Anyway, WebM, I've got another tutorial on how to add WebM. It's a free codec that you can add. Windows Media. And sure enough, there's 5.1. And the last one, Raptor DCP does have 5.1 format. So there you go. There's a ton of formats that export out surround sound 5.1. You don't have to have Dolby Digital unless you're in an environment where you're exporting out to some kind of theater player or, or it's in a professional level where someone has asked you to export out Dolby. For that, you, go, you need to go and buy a license. And it's really confusing on who you buy the license from because it's not just Dolby that sells it. Lots of people sell it for vastly different prices. It's very, very confusing. So, Hopefully you found that informative. If you're new to video reveal, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? For us digging in to get information like this for you, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description in the front of the channel. Thanks so much to all of our wonderful PayPal supporters. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to dig through all this stuff and find the solutions that you need the most.